Hello, this is not a spring chicken. One of the things that you're going to notice today is, oh, maybe you won't notice, is we are experimenting with a new 3D camera by Sony. So, yes, things might look be a little bit different. Now, here's the great part about this one is we're working in 3D, and we can now zoom in 3D. Previously, we were in 3D with a fixed focal length, or you can work with 2D and convert to um, zoom and then 3D it. But now we have a 3D zoom with a full HD 3D. Going, what does that mean? It means the files are huge, um, but really huge, but also the, the pictures are clear, so I know we're really, really excited as to the new stuff and what's coming up. Um, oh, I guess you're going to get back to news, right? So we're going to bring old Cam on with comments on the headlines of today. <laughs> we now are using timers. We're experimenting. We're learning how to use this. And Obama favors shutting down free speech. And i got to cover up Rex's ears because we keep telling people, Rex worships the ground the president works on like Bill O'Reilly does, but uh, the president of the United States is condemning anybody in the United States that believes in having to have an ID for, you know, to, for identification, that anybody that supports gun rights, anyone that supports as conservative causes, anyone that sponsors Rush Limbaugh, he basically just got through saying that we have to bring an end to division in this country which means he can say anything he wants and anybody that says anything they want should be shut down. Mm -hmm. But it's not going over well because all he did, they said basically it was a rallying cry for everybody on the right that doesn't like Mitt Romney. And gas prices dropping rapidly, expected to be down a lot for the summer. I, 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 I know that I'm going to really tell people something that they should be knowing by now. Gas prices do not go down in the summer, they go up because people are traveling more and they figure you have to pay the price, which means they're trying to do this because Obama has screwed up every vacation place in the United States. You know, you, know, well, you don't go there because you're, you, know, you should be paying, you know, not, the rich should be paying taxes. I mean, look, I just got a few minutes ago that uh, only the poor should own two homes. If you're wealthy and you own a second home, you should pay a special tax. But if you're poor and own a second home, you don't have to, you should have a, all the taxes reduced for you. Um, where does a poor person get the money to pay for that second home that Obama says you should be able to own that the wealthy can't? Mm -hmm. And reforming government step by step. I know. Uh, basically, uh, and none of it is, okay, at virtually every retiring Democratic congressman and senator has said the President of the United States was wrong in what he did, and they're condemning him for it. Every one to a man, the liberals are all saying that what he did was made a disaster. Said they had a majority, they still had the majority. If he hadn't decided to cram things down people's throats, and they also agree that, I heard last night, Barney Frank said, I do think that what he did in the back room in the Senate was despicable. He said, at least in the House, we do, we have our, uh, our dirty deals are done in public so everybody knows them, not like in the Senate. So... Well, I am looking at this monitor, and I have one thing to say. It says, I'm looking forward to seeing Apple because it looks phenomenal. Oh, God, yeah. The colors look very true. Well, what happens I mean, is our, the Sonys are known for um, uh, shooting in, in low light better than, their, than any of the other cameras. This is also the Sony has two, two sensors in it compared to one in most other 3D cameras. Yeah, and this is a full HD. Yeah, well, yeah, this, really this, cool this, this is this is phenomenal, and Middle East mediators seek to revive Israel-Palestine peace talks. Oh yeah, Israel. you know I am the great. I, the Muslim people will do anything I ask them to do, and I'm going to ask them to come back to the table. The Israelis aren't going to come because they know that what Obama has probably said. I'll tell you the secrets to every nuclear site that they have, so that you can take them out before you destroy Israel. Mm. They don't trust the man. Well, the Muslims don't trust him either, Joe, though. And Obama wants to forgive student debt for his supporters because it will create new jobs. Even the people on the left can't figure out how. Uh, they said, well, because they're not, they're not repaying the debt. They'll have more money to spend on, uh, on things. Well, no, they won't have more money to spend on anything because they don't have the money. Okay, here's the way it works. If you don't have the money to pay your student debt to begin with, you don't have the extra money to spend. But he wants to give, a, you know, a forgive one trillion dollars in debt. And you know how he's going to, re uh, he said it will be taxpayer, it will be 
revenue neutral because the wealthy will be the wealthy who are not paying their fair share will be asked to uh, support those people. I mean, I, I heard the battle this morning. I mean, between you know, a person my age and person in their thirties. Well, you don't know what it's like. And he said, yeah, I, I paid off my student debt. My kids paid off their student debt. But I'm expected to pay your debt also? Mm -hmm. And he said, that's not going to happen. And he said, uh, you know, that I, he said, I pay my fair share. He said, I pay, I pay property taxes. I pay school taxes. I pay taxes all over the place. But the people your age don't pay any tax. He said, well, I pay, I pay uh, FDIC and I pay sales tax. No. I, you're not paying federal income tax. This is what the debate is about, and they continually ignore the fact federal income taxes. That's where they're not paying any money at all. And Calderon and Castro see better relations in Cuba talks. Well, y'all, you know, that's not going to happen because Castro is on the way out and the people know he is. Mm -mm. And Twitter backlash for people who didn't know Titanic was real? What in the world? Was, okay, here's the problem with the people on the left. The people on the left think that cowboys and Indians existed in the 1940s and that people walk around western towns with six guns on. They also think that everything you see in a, a movie is totally, you know, uh, you know, well, we know the Titanic is a 3D movie and a 3D movie is all fake. So therefore, what? The Titanic was obviously a fake movie. No, you do. 3D was done on on documentary type stuff before 3D was ever done on on fiction movies. Are you serious? No. Oh, it was done. You know, <laughs> the, first, the, the people. World? Okay, the people showing you how it was an optical thing. They showed people the optics of it long before they decided to use it. Okay, we're talking in eight in 1927. They realized you couldn't do this with a 3D camera, and you couldn't do this and that. We can with that one, but you couldn't do it with them. But don't do it too fast because it will still switch back on you. An adopted Russian boy rejected by U.S. mother and just in foster care. It's, it, okay, he was rejected because he was violent. They basically, the, they said the Russians are shipping off kids that basically they can't handle and not bothering to tell. This was a nurse that sent him back. Because he, I think what he said, he tried to kill her one night while she was asleep. And they said, well, she sh that, that was not their problem. That, they, that she should have known, well, nobody told her. When a, when a registered nurse that deals in child care sends a kid back, she basically had been had since she was a little kid. Um, you know there's a problem. They're, actually, they're wanting to send her to jail for doing it, but isn't going to happen. Really? And Cuban agent returns to the U.S. after seeing brother. Yeah, so, but, um, you know, Obama wants to open up Cuba so the communists can come back and forth in the United States and stuff like they used to. I mean, going I see Desi Arnaz's place in the Copa, his Paris place, back in the 1950s when Cuba was an ungodly beautiful country where everybody was at. We had a cruddy dictator. Okay, so the dictator happened to have been the father of Judy Canova. <laughs> mm. <laughs> so. And Bus Man re reunites with mother thanks to Google Earth. I know. First of all, Google is trying to show how good their thing is. Google's a god awful spy machine, folks. They got their satellites. They're photographing people in their backyards having sex. They're photographing people on their balconies. You know, uh, they're photographing people's safes. What? Yeah, well, because it's so precise and the wind is open, if they're in a wall safe, they can tell, tell, they can see what the things are and they know exactly where it's at. Oh. Personal information on tabletops. Well, it shows you not to have things in the window, right? Keep your windows closed because Google is there. New Mexico fat cat weighs in at nearly 40 pounds. I've seen big cats in my life, and it's not necessarily fat. We had a, what is called a Max, which is uh, basically a cross between a cat and a, and a bobcat. Those little monsters got to be like 30 pounds. Beautiful animals, but great big. I mean, the dogs would sit there. When the cat would basically with the claw. The dogs back to work. Most light cities, Seattle and Portland tops, and Detroit 
dead last. Nobody wants to go to Detroit because it's a, Michigan is a dead state. Detroit is the leading city in Michigan. Auto industry is dead because Obama killed it. And what's funny is Detroit happened to be predominantly Afro-American, and he destroyed the largest Afro-American state in the United States. And he basically has done nothing to help New Orleans either. Mm -hmm. He did condemn Bush, but hadn't done a single thing to help him. Animosity bubbleism from the Mark Twain of the animal kingdom. You wonder why when the press tells you something that you obviously know is false, they continue to try to make you believe it's the truth.